is minus 4.2. Now we can get this beta with the help of this formula covariance between x and y divided by variance of x. For covariance, we'll use Excel function covariance for population. And then we have this x comma then y. And then we calculate variance of x equal to variance population function. And here is x. And just divide covariance between x and y by variance of x. So here is some difference between these two. Uh, let me check it uh, before checking first. Uh, oh, OK, I have put the formula in variance function. Now it is basically covariance between X and Y. And then. It is OK variance of X. This is beta. Now, we will check again uh, the beta that we have calculated manually. Uh, now we will use a, a slope function. Here is slope function so that we can check the accuracy. Slope y, this is your y, comma, then x. Now oh, beta is minus 0.42. It means that uh, there is a, a mistake in uh, this function covariance between X and Y and then variance of X. Again, I am checking this. This is basically covariance between X and Y. And then. OK, I have used variance sample function. Here is mistake. Now again change it variance to population. And then select this X. Variable. And here see that our answer is now the same minus 0.42. Uh, we can get uh, this beta with the help of hedge ratio. Uh, in hedge ratio, uh, we need correlation between X and Y. So choral function. Between X and Y. X comma then Y. Then standardization of Y. Here is Y. And then standardization of X. This is basically standardization of X. And then just put the formula equal to uh, correlation between X and Y multiplied by standard deviation of Y divided by standard deviation of X. You see that we have again the same result that is minus 0.42. Now in the fourth method, this is basically fifth method. Linus function. So use this, this Linus function. And then Y variable. Comma. Then X variable. So here you can see that this one. It is beta again the same. Then you can get the beta with the help of scatter plot for scatter plot. We should have X first and then Y. So we can change their position. Uh, this is your X. And. Pressing shift function.
Okay, uh, just uh, ignore this one. Uh, we can use the data here. It is the X, for example, and then we have Y. Just use uh, this is equal to X. Just a minute. Uh, this is U and X. And then this is our Y. Because to dry graphs or scatter plot, we first need X variable values and then Y. Now just copy the formula here. So we should have 12 observation. Yes, 12 observation. Now select X and Y. And go to insert. And here you can see we have scatter plot. Select this one. Now from scatter plot, click any point on this. And then right click. And here add 10 line. And then choose the option here, display equation on chart. Now here you can see that we have this minus 0.42, this one. I, I'm moving here. So this is basically your beta. Now the another method that we have, I'm just putting here. Here is beta. You can see that with the help of scatter plot, you can observe that this is our beta. Now, uh, now running regression model. For regression model, uh, go to data and select data analysis and choose regression function. First select Y variable, this one, and then X variable. So this regression analysis will also tell the significance of the beta as well. Now select labels and confidence level and output range. For example, we want to uh, display the output here in S1 and then OK. Now here you can see that here we have beta. I'm highlighting this. The same beta. And you can also check its significance as well. It is not significant because we have lesser number of observation. Now the last method that is here just put the name of company in which we are calculating beta. That is Microsoft and then go to data option. And here we have stocks option. Click here. Now it is basically Microsoft. For example, we have selected this one. Select. And then. Here you can see that we have beta option. It is positive 0.94 uh, because the time period is different. Uh, we have taken uh, just 12 uh, months. Uh, so it is all about uh, that how we can get uh, beta uh, with the different methods. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video.